Hi, and thanks for joining us. My name is Ryan with Nerd Tech 101. Today we're going to go over how to get those missing icons back after your upgrade to Snow Leopard or Lion, as well as in Lion, getting your sidebar and finder to be more customized to the way you were used to. We're going to start off right now by saying that everything we do will be done in administrative user. So please make sure you have administrative rights to make sure that this tutorial works for you. Now as you noticed, when you upgrade to Snow Leopard Lion, the icons that used to be right here for Macintosh HD and your CDs when you mount them are no longer there. They're missing. Well, Apple decided in Snow Leopard and Lion that by default these would no longer be there to give you a cleaner, crisper desktop. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you how to turn it back on. One of the first things we want to do is we want to make sure that we are in Finder right here next to the Apple. Now if you're not in Finder, if you have Safari or YouTube or something else open, you're just going to want to click on this first icon, the Finder icon, and that will allow you to get to the Finder. You're also going to notice it brings up a Finder window, but for right now we're going to do nothing with the window. We're just going to go straight to the word Finder and click on Preferences. As you see, we're going to be right here into our preferences. One of the first tabs that you should be on by default is the general tab. Now in this general tab you're going to see that there's a few options right here that are going to be quite important to us. The first is show these items on the desktop. As you see we have hard disks, external disks, CD, DVDs, iPods, and connected servers. I'm going to go ahead and check all these because I do want all of them on. And as you see, my Macintosh HD is right there. Now if I go ahead and insert a CD into my drive, that should also start mounting on my desktop. Now while that CD is mounting, I also want to go over the all my files right here. You'll notice if you're running Lion that as a new feature of Lion, they added a quick way to search all your files on your computer. I personally am not a fan of this feature, and a lot of other people have commented on it as well. So you can go ahead and change this back to the way that you're used to by simply going and choosing your home folder. Now that your home folder has been chosen, when you quit and open a finder window, it will always open to your home folder, which we'll demonstrate right now. And as you see, there's my home folder. Alright, so that CD is done mounting, and as you see, we can actually see it on our desktop now. If I was to uncheck that CD option, the CD would disappear. Checking it again makes that CD reappear. So that is one of the ways to get your icons back on your desktop. Now as you'll know in Lion, there's also this whole different aspect to the bar. One of the things that a lot of people have mentioned is that they want to get to their hard drive. They're already in the finder window, but there's no list for the hard drive here. If they want to access it, they have to go all the way back over to Macintosh HD and open it. Well, that's not as convenient for people. So if you go back to that Finder Preferences, again that was Finder Preferences, you can click on Sidebar. Under the Sidebar, it's going to give you your options to turn and select a few things here. Now we're going to go ahead and customize this a little bit here. One of the first things we're going to do is we're going to turn off all my files, because like I said, I'm not a big fan of it. You can leave it on if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. I also don't need movie, music, or pictures in my bar right here in the favorites. They'll just take up extra space. As you see down here, we have devices. Now this is where we want to get. We already have CDs and external disks connected. We only have the disk right now, so that's all you'll see. But if I select the hard disks, now you'll notice my Macintosh HD is there. And I can now easily click on the Finder window, select it, and get to my hard drive. Alrighty. Well, that should complete our little tutorial today on how to get your missing icons and customize your finder bar. Now, I hope this video helped you. Please feel free to subscribe and leave comments below. We'll answer our comments as fast as possible. Now, if you'd like to have a request on a certain video or something that you need help with, feel free to send any type of email to request at nerdtech101.com. Again, that's request at nerdtech101. I'll put it on the screen. That way you'll have access to see it. 
and we will respond to you and hopefully get videos up fast as possible. Alright, thank you for watching.